Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of leopard style print kind of thing makeup look. I've been watching that Tiger King, Tiger King um, series on Netflix. I've really gotten into it and I was kind of inspired by those beautiful big cats to do a kind of look like that kind of thing. If you guys do have any requests for like any looks that you do want me to create or recreate for you guys, please make sure to comment down below or tag me in them or anything like that on my social media, all of which is in the description bar if you'd like to check it out. Otherwise, if you are interested in how I'm going from this to my big cat inspired look, leopard print look, I don't know what to call it yet, just that look, then please stay watching. Okay guys, so first things first is priming our eyelids. I'm going in with the e.l.f. eye primer in the shade Pearl. It's just a nice white cream eye base to neutralize the lids and create a nice blank canvas for the eyeshadows to really show up really pigmented and something to adhere to as well. For our first shadow today, I'm going in with this orangey yellow shade from the Chi Chi Pride palette on a nice fluffy brush from Zoeva. I'm going through the crease with this colour, just slowly building it up. It's going to be our transition shade today, so it's going to help the deeper colours blend into something so there's no harsh lines. For our next shade, I'm going to take a slightly deeper tone. This is a more kind of warm, light orangey shade. And on a Zoeva Soft Definer brush this time, I'm going in and placing that through my crease, just below that soft yellow shade that we used before to create a nice soft gradient and slowly work those colours deeper and deeper. For the next shade I'm going to take, this is Flame Point from Sugar Pill. And on a petite crease brush, I'm going to start building up that colour from the outer corner and then slowly build it through the crease as well. Again, bringing it slightly lower in the crease to create that gradient effect. Then I go back in with those initial kind of more transition-y shades and just soften any harsh lines or edges. Next I'm going in with a brown. This is I think Mocha from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm using this again on the Petite Crease brush and slowly building that through the outer corner and then whatever's left through the crease. I want to start bringing it up also into those orange tones so I bring a bit of that flame point shade and some of mocha on that brush and just work it through that crease area a little bit so there's a nice soft blend. Then I'm going in with a slightly deeper shade. This is a more darker brown tone. I'm going in on a pencil brush this time and again deepening up the outer corner first and then slowly bringing whatever's left on the brush through the crease. And of course going back in with those other shades to soften any harsh lines or edges. Just going back and forth between those previous shades will always help create a nice soft blended look just to ensure that there's no harsh lines. Next to cut my crease I'm going in with this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on an eye concealer brush and I'm carving out my crease about two thirds of the way across and also making sure to cover that whole lid in that white eye base because we're going in with a shimmery white eyeshadow next. So I want it to be a nice, really opaque canvas so that white eyeshadow really shows up on the eyelids. So I'm going to take WA from my travel palette from Focalore. And like I said, I'm just going to pack that eyeshadow all over that white cream eye base. Once you've done that, we're going to take the deepest shade of today. We're going to take a black eyeshadow and on a pencil brush, I'm going to work that on my outer corner. And then with whatever's left on the brush, bringing it through the outer crease, about a third of the way across the crease area and blending it into that white eyeshadow. I also go back in with some of those previous brown shades and soften any harsh lines or edges created by that black and also use it to transition the white shimmery eyeshadow into the black eyeshadow to create a nice soft blended look like this. For the eyeliner today I'm going to take this gel eyeliner from Napoleon Purtis. It's just a gold gel eyeliner and I'm placing that along about the first two thirds of the eyelid and I made it quite thick as well. And then over top I'm going in with this eyeshadow queen from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette to make sure it stands out and it's nice and opaque. And then I'm going to line the outer edges of that gold eyeliner with a black liquid liner. This is the Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner from Maybelline. And I line it all the way towards that black eyeshadow. So as you can see, the gold is not covering the black. 
I stopped it right before the black eyeshadow and that's where I stopped the liner as well. So it's only outlining the gold. For our brow bone highlight today, I'm going to go in with this beautiful shimmery gold shade from the Chi Chi palette. And now to begin off with the leopard print spots on the brow bone crease area, I would say. I'm going to take this white body paint and just kind of poke little random dots along the brow bone. Some are bigger than others, some are smaller, some are different shaped kind of dots. I just kind of copied a little picture of like um, a cheetah or a leopard and just kind of mimicked that kind of look. And then because I didn't actually have a gold kind of liquid liner. I went in with a gold eyeshadow over top of that white body paint. However, you can, if you do have like a gold liquid liner or something like that, or even yellow, you can go in with that straight away rather than doing the white with the eyeshadow. So next to outline these little dots, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little freaking out about this guys, as you can see, I'm like, pray for me. <laughs> I'm going in and just outlining all of those um, little leopard print dots that we've created along the crease area with a very thin black line. As you can see, I've kept it pretty random. Like there's no rhyme or reason to it. I've kept it very random just to kind of mimic that imperfection that the leopard coat does have. I really love that. So I just kind of kept it really random. So it's up to you guys how you would like to kind of pursue this step. Voila. <laughs> For lashes today, I'm going to take the, I think these are the fairy lashes, I believe, from Anitude. They're very full and very fluffy and super dramatic, which I love with this look. For the waterline today, I'm taking this brown eye cult from Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Espresso and I'm lining my waterline with that. Then I'm going to take this brown shade, it's kind of a medium tone brown, and I'm wiggling that really closely to my bottom lash line all the way from outer corner and just tapering it in towards the inner corner. Then to blend that out, I'm taking Flame Point again on a pencil brush and just slowly blending out that brown shade. And to further blend out that orange shade, I'm taking this lighter orange from the Chi Chi Pride palette and I'm just going and buffing that along the very edges of that flame point shade. For my inner corner, I'm taking this beautiful shimmery kind of white champagne shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm placing that on my inner corners for a bit of an inner corner highlight. And then finally finishing off with some bottom lash mascara. This mascara is the Argan Wear mascara from Physicians Formula. And that guys concludes today's leopard print big cat inspired makeup look. As you can tell I've been really bored at home so I've been experimenting with some really intense really dramatic looks which I've been loving. Like I said if you have any requests for some more dramatic looks like this please let me know. Otherwise let's head off on to our outro. <laughs> So guys, this concludes today's leopard, cheetah, big cat like inspired makeup look. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you have any requests for looks to do in the future that you want me to do, just leave them down below in the comment section. Otherwise, I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.